Good morning, Collective. This is me again, Micaiah. And I hope everybody's doing great. They had a wonderful morning. Get your teas, detox yourself, take your spiritual baths, clean your energy, wake up and meditate and thank God. Give God praise. Give your ancestors praise. Always show gratitude. Um, <clears throat> and I send love and light and protection your way, whether you go from to and fro from work for those who still go to work outside of the home that you are covered with God's grace and blood and his mercy and you are protected to and fro. Now, the first vision that I had received was a helicopter circling around a neighborhood in Florida, hovering over a downtown area near a neighborhood. Um, the chopper was next to a an apartment high rise building. Um, the chopper was blue and white. Um, I could not make out if it was channel 12 or 17. OK, um, or seven. All I know is that it was with well, whichever newscast um, people that is downtown. That's not downtown, but in Florida, it was blue and white and yellow. Um uh now the colors that was on the high rise apartment building it was a light soft fresh cement color like on the outer crown molding of the building and the bricking was excuse me was of a a light sand soft beach color okay that was the first vision the second one was uh there is an older male energy that has tarot cards that has been pulling someone's energy to find out about someone. He was sitting at a long wooden table in his dining room. Colors was a warm bread basket brown color along the crown moldings of the walls and the floors. And uh, the color of the walls was of a Spanish Caribbean coastal color shrimp. Um, he is a dark skin color. Um, he has hairy arms, forearms, and fingers. His hands are big, short, and fat, and wide, and stubby. Um, this, he, he does it at nighttime, alone, uh, downstairs in his living room area, in the dining room. The ages is from uh, 70 to 83 years old. The oldest man is a seeker of dark arts. And the clarification that I had got from that is of, uh, if anybody knows about this older man, or if you don't know, this is my father, James Alvin Taylor. He dibbles and dabbles in dark arts and he has mistreated um, cards, <clears throat> tarot cards, and he uses them to basically hone in on my energy to find out and figure out what I'm doing because I know for a fact that the divine has been talking to my father and telling him that he needs to drop his pride and stop what he's doing because he's not actually making it good for himself and I know that for a fact and he's mistreating demolition if I'm saying it right demination he is mistreating it and he's using it for dark forces and he's doing it to find out about me. But I'm just going to let you know that my ancestors are, are they're going to block you. I'm going to send them to block my energy from you and your cards. You're not going to pull for me anymore. Or for me or anyone in my house. I know that you're working with Sean. I know that Sean is working with Earn. I know that Earn is working with Eddie. And I know that Eddie is the reason why that everybody is so into trying to figure out and keep my money held back and all this other stuff. I know that y'all are holding on to the money and I know that you forged my name. <clears throat> you fucked up. They know you did it. And I told you that the FBI and the CIA was watching. I also am going to give them your address. 1414 South 58th Street in between Whitby and have Hadfield Avenue in Southwest Philadelphia. The house is directly across from a red, white and gold church that my dad used to use. The house has a wheelchair elevator accessible going up onto a balcony into the house. If you are listening to me 
His name is James Alvin Taylor. His birthday is August 21st. He was born 1930, 30. He's almost 11 years older than my mom. And my mom was born 1948. So my dad was born 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. No, 48, 30, 1936, I think, or 38. Um, yeah, he is a pedophile. He is a liar. Um, he has been stealing money from the VA. Um, as far as in the home health aid, he has my sister, Ataria um, Taylor, who is five years older than me, who is on the on the paperwork as a pupil for his home health aide she does not go to the house she does not take care of him and if she is at the house is because she lo she lost her house due to her working black magic on me and candle work and mirror spells and all that other stuff she's reaping she's she's definitely going to be going through karma she is going through karma now um, again, her name is Ataria Taylor and she's five years older than me. I'm 37, which means that she is 40, 30, 30, 40, she is 42 years old. Her birthday is August the 3rd. Okay. And she was born 1979. Yeah. So anyway, um, my mom and my dad and my sister have been stealing money from the VA, they have been stealing money from their jobs. 365, my mom quit because she was getting ready to try to blame everything on me and make it seem like that I was stealing time and I was never where I was supposed to be. That's the reason why when I was being led by the divine to always call out or call in or talk or have um, some type of <clears throat> arrangement and bond and connection, clear communication with my bosses and managers that was over me to make sure that I am being seen and I know and they know about my clocking in and my clocking outs and my whereabouts and whose house and clients that I was going to. Um, my mom was not doing her job. She, uh, she, my sister who was working for another home health aid company has also been stealing money. She does not clock in. She does not clock out. My mom does that for her. And they have been stealing money from you guys for years. They have not been doing the work. I was doing everything. I was the one that was uh, taking care of my sisters and covering for them. My mom has flown out of town to go to funerals, to go meet her family, to go rest and rejuvenate. Um, and I, she asked for me to cover for her. Now, I was led to call the job and I made her um, let my manager know that she was leaving out of town and she wasn't gonna come back and they were supposed to be giving me her pay, which is they did do that. I covered myself because I did what was right and I went towards doing things the right way. My mother has not. My mom has been stealing from 365. She has been stealing from another company that uh, works for the VA um, concerning my dad uh, with my sister because she's supposed to be his home health aide. She does not take care of him. She does not do anything for him. Um, they still have not changed their address um, information from the male, the, the, the male people. Um, my dad's foods from the VA that he get from his elderly coverage and stuff um, still is being dropped off at my house. I've been, um, uh, got in touch with the, the male people and told them that they don't live here. They don't belong here. None of their male belongs here. And yet they're still doing things to try to aggravate and agitate me and it's not working, <clears throat> but I'm being led to out you about you working with the enemy, stealing money in any way, shape or form that you can to get over and have people thinking that you have money when all you've been doing is robbing Peter to pay Paul. 
I know about you stealing money from your job. I know about the false clock ins and clock outs. I know about my mom covering for Atari and Atari never being there. Never. She calls my mom every morning to make sure that she clocks her in to make it seem like that she's working when she actually sits at home. She orders junk food for her and her three boys and wastes time all day because she thinks that she could be a privileged woman and make money without doing any work. The same way spiritually that you are supposed to invest in yourself for you to improve and become a better version of yourself is the same way that you are implementing that into your natural everyday 3D life. She does not want to heal. They do not want to change. They do not want to make any efforts in making anything better for themselves. Again, they have been stealing from their jobs and the VA 365 for years. They do not do the work. And when they do is only whenever they are being inspected from a doctor that sends someone to see and reevaluate if the girls are okay. My mother coerces my sister, Jamisha, who is two years older than me. And she has a mental, um, uh, she has a mental block and she's very slow. Okay. She, she's two years older than me, but her mindset is of a 10 year old. My mom has been taking advantage of her and coercing her. And my other sister, <clears throat> Shaniqua, who uh, was born March the 9th. She is a Pisces. She also is a paralegic. And she is, uh, she's evil, okay? She's a demon by itself, but that's my sister. So she's just evil. But anyway, um, my mom coerces and she looks over things and she's always looking up things. My mom is the one who, knows about everybody's movements, their clock in and clock in and clock out time, the the people that they work under, she definitely knows how to manipulate and she has been doing it for a very long time. And my mom was going to push that off on me, but I was being led by the divine to gather up and save and work as many as hours as I could and put my money up and quit. Okay? And focus on my home, my spiritual elevation, my healing, my children, my surroundings, my energy, and honing in on people who have been holding secrets and being deceptive and towards me. Okay. And what you guys don't know is that since you, you keep doing things to try to be malicious, to work things against me, to try to keep me looking as if I am a liar, a fraud, Collective, everything that my parents and my family is doing to try to project on me is what they are doing. They are the thieves. They are the frauds. They are um, fake people. They are very dark. They are not of the light. <clears throat> These people are ancestral. These people are murderers. These people are snitches. And they're going to turn, you guys are all going to turn on each other, okay? All the conflict that you tried to send my way is going to come right back to you. And guess what? While it's there, it's going to stick with you. That's also a part of your karma. So whatever maliciousness that you have intended, I'm just telling you, keep doing stupid stuff. And every time you make a dumb move, I'm going to know what you're doing and I'm going to out you before you find out that I actually knew 1414. They might be significant for someone. But I know that abundance is right around the corner, right along with creativity. So keep trying to figure out different new revenues and ways that are very not new to me that I have wisdom that the divine has given me about you. I'm going to keep exposing you again. Collective, please have a good day and I will be back 
later on this afternoon to talk to you guys again. Hopefully I will be underneath a tree somewhere <laughs> uh, meditating and, you know, just trying to change up the scenery. I might even get in front of the camera. OK, but as of right now. I am being led to give these messages and also expose the truth of what has been going on and they are continuing to go on. All right. So till then, collective, have a great, wonderful, blessed day and God bless you.